and just briefly, I mean, I'm just going to share with you what the students share with us. And Marcia says, us and the work that we do, but really what we do is what the students have asked us to do. And, you know, one of the beautiful things about standing up here with world-renowned researchers, you know, they're saying the same things today that the students told us 10 years ago. <laughs> and my experience with research, as beautiful as it is, and as great as it is because it carries the weight that we need, is that it always follows. And 10 years ago, what the students told us was that, yeah, guess what? High school students smoke. They engage in sexual behavior. They take other drugs. They drive under the influence. Just like, but that the difference was that for students, any of those activities is against the law. So one of the things that happens when people begin to experiment, every one of us here knows it's against the law, unless you have some incredible parents or a great uncle or that fabulous guy down the street who works on his motorcycle that you can go hang out with. Right? When you start experimenting, you also start shutting up. Silence. And the students know this. And what they told us was that, you know what? There's risks there, and we need to talk about it in small, confidential groups. And if you set up these groups, we'll show up and we'll have those conversations. And over the years, that's what has happened. They come and they show up, and as soon as they realize that we're not out to bust them, as soon as we give them, and so it's actually accurate, right? Those movies, we listen to those lectures. Maybe some of us watch Dare show us their catalog of drugs, right, that we shouldn't take because they make us feel good. Right? <laughs> Increased use is what a surprise. So they, they, we found that when you sit with folks, I mean, once they realize, you know, that you're having a conversation with each other, you really want to know what they believe, what they do, and why they do it. And, you know, they, they just talk about it. Very often what they tell us is that we are the first people in the world that they've had a genuine conversation about their using it. I'm going to tell you this, that I believe that this is true. It's true for students in Oakland. It's true for students everywhere. You know, if we give them an opportunity to talk about this kind of thing, they are better equipped to navigate those waters. You know, one of the things that we found is that medical marijuana is a huge part of the discussion. And it really changes the context. Because right, it's no longer about, you know, everybody sitting in the garage or in the basement, right? I mean, it's got a legitimate medical quality to it. And it's out there, and we can talk about that. You know, and they come with an understanding of that and a sophistication. You know, I mean, some of these people, they've been smoking weed since they were 10 years old. Younger than that sometimes. They come to us with experience. Whether that's positive or not is up to you to decide, but, you know, they want to talk about it. And when you can take that whole medical perspective and slip it in there and talk about exactly why, what, and how, they begin to have a different understanding as we all do. Like, what do I like about weed? What does it do for me? Right? Like, why, why do I like smoking? And as you heard folks talk about it, I mean, whether it's you know, treating ADHD or whether it's treating anxiety or whether it's treating insomnia, I mean, or whether it's just having a good time. We all smoke weed for different reasons. Being able to have an understanding of what those reasons are is as important for us when we're 14 as it is when we're 40 or 50 or 100. <clears throat> so I'm going to just, hopefully we'll do some, some Q&A at the end of this and I'll be able to talk a little bit more. But I just want to tell you that, you know, there's hope out there. And California is absolutely a place to start. And here's hoping that we can all continue to have this voice and to move this agenda ahead. So thank, thank you. you.